The current presenter today will be Asalia Murancha. Her title of the presentation is HIV Paradox, Using Documentary Films to Reduce HIV Stigma in Indonesia. She comes to us from the Department of Media Study in the College of Arts and Sciences and is a native of Jakarta, Indonesia. She wants to be an academic and filmmaker, and in fact, her dissertation will be her 20th film that she makes during her study at UB. Thank you for joining us, Azalea. And when you're ready, set, pitch. Good afternoon. Since 2013, I have been working with people living with HIV in Indonesia as an activist filmmaker. Before then, I had thought people living with HIV were skinny, sick, and having a death sentence. Because this is the image of HIV that we often see in the media. But look at my slide here. This is Rika. She is young, beautiful, and has a healthy lifestyle. When I first met her, I would have never thought that Rika had HIV. Her ex-husband used drugs behind her back and exchanged needles with other people. As a result, she became HIV positive. There are 640,000 other people like Rika who live with HIV in Indonesia. This is not a small number, considering that Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago and the fourth most populated country on earth. It is also home to the largest Muslim population, which means that HIV advocacy is a delicate subject matter as it is usually stigmatized as an immoral disease. This stigma is spread and amplified in the media. So in my research as a media scholar, I am looking into the way that HIV is portrayed and talked about in the media. My findings show that from the beginning of its discovery in Indonesia in the 1980s to today, HIV narratives in the media produce and reproduce othering towards people living with HIV. People are reluctant to get tested or to access the free HIV medication out of fear of being ousted from their families, schools, workplaces, and communities. The solution to this problem is to create counter narratives. And Indonesia is such a perfect place to do this because we have a history of changing the narratives in the media through propaganda. But instead of the top-down government commission propaganda film, my model of advocacy media comes from the bottom up. In my dissertation film, I am using documentary to talk about HIV differently. I show how people who live with HIV can have a normal life like Rika, who is now remarried and has an HIV negative child. My film centers on people like Rika to tell their personal stories to the general audience. And by hearing Rika's story, the audience can relate to her as a human being, despite her HIV status. With this intervention, I hope I can change HIV narratives in the media and in the long run, reduce the stigma so people will get tested and access the free medications in Indonesia. This research is one important piece of the puzzle that can impact the way that information is delivered in the media to solve public health issues, not just in Indonesia, but also globally. Thank you.